like a rock on my wrist That shit you can't resist Cash flow greater than the haters hating on my jizz Riding in your face Looking like I found a damn genie While in my Lamborghini Yo, what is up gamers and cooks? Your boy DJ the Boston here So, as you can see I decided to dress up So, welcome to episode 2 of DJ the Boston Cooks So this is a little bit of a high request as I posted a picture yesterday on Instagram so I wasn't dressed up for the last video. If you've seen that, I made buffalo chicken dip. So I'm going to leave the link in the description. So today we're making scrambled eggs, full course breakfast edition. Well, that consists of scrambled eggs, sausage, toast, and whatever drink you prefer. Orange juice, milk, Kool-Aid, water, whatever. Which I'm very excited to make it. So anyway, without further ado, let's get the video started! Alright y'all, so I know I did not add a lot of comedy to the last video, which, you know what, I know you guys find me funny a lot, so I'm going to add a lot of comedy to this one. So what I'm going to do today, is I'm going to turn your breakfast into a honey bunch, from Honey Bunches of Oats cereal, I like this by the way, into a plate of savage. What I mean is a plate of a good breakfast that you actually deserve. So without further ado, let's get rolling, let's do this. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you everything you need to make awesome scrambled eggs. So what you're going to need is you need three or four eggs, whatever you prefer. I like four eggs, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crack four eggs, like so. Okay, get that down so I don't spill it. Throw that away once you're done. Then just crack two or three more. Just be careful not to get shell in your eggs. Okay. Like so. So, now you're going to stir it up. I'm not a really fast stir, I'll be honest. Voila. Now, what you're going to need is I'm going to go get the butter, and that's what you need on the pan. I will be right back. All right, guys, so there's a pan and spatula right here. Got a knife. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to get the butter. There we go. And grab some butter. Just only this much, or a little more if you need. And just put it on there. And get that off the stove. And then turn the stove to medium. So what you're going to do is once it's a little melted. Just wait for this to get melted. You just move it around. Get the butter some love. Just. That's not really melted. So. Just give the butter some love. So I think these scrambled eggs are going to be so hot. that I cannot feel my face. But I think I'm going to love it. <laughs> so, anyway, that's a little melted. So give the butter some love and just swish it around. Or you can just swish it around like this. So. Oop. But if it's stuck, just get your spatula and just swish it around. Easy as that. And then once it's actually completely melted, then you're going to get your egg. Just put it on there. Right now it's not going to be stuck anymore, so it's just going to be easy as that, just to swish it around. Like I said, easy as that. Once it's halfway melted or completely melted, get your egg and pour it in there. So easy as that. And just now you can hear that sizzling. Who I like the sound of that. So just let this cook for a couple minutes. So now what we're going to need is the toast. So what we're going to need now, is, like I said, is the toast. Just, just put the camera right there real sec. Alright guys, so while that is cooking, you're going to need some toast. So two to four slices is alright. So I like four slices. So put that in the toaster. 
and just cook it through. And now we're going to wait for this. Then we're going to get the butter, swish it around. And I really don't like the taste of butter on my toast, so I just want the butter in the microwave just to make it taste better. Which, yeah, so. So this is not completely, like, melted yet, so. So when you see, like, a little bit of a hard spot, just swish it around. So you'll see that in a minute. But, anyway, this is going to look good. So just waiting for this to melt. So anyway, I'll record again when this is, like, completely, like, a little hard. Then I'm going to squish it around and show you guys how to do it. Okay, so this is hardening out a little bit. So mostly we're all hardened inside. So just bring it in. Just, okay, there we go. Get it in there. So waiting for it to harden a little bit on the other sides. Mostly we're all hard, like I said, is the sides. So. So just waiting for this to harden, like I said, of course, I said that like a bajillion times. So, take it. Take it over. Oh, sounds like the toast done. I'll get that in a sec. But I'm mostly focused on this. Bring this together. And just chop it up like this. My mom likes to do it this way. So you can do two ways, this way. Or you can do it how like I do it. I do it a little rapid. So, what well, I have to do it a little rapid, but I don't want the thing to shake. That looks delicious. So, chop that up a little bit to make perfect scrambled eggs. There you go. I think you can hear that sizzling a little bit now. So what you want to do also is keep the, all the yellow and white slime off of it. Keep the white slime off of it. So that's an important step. I don't know why the pan shake. I should be holding it, but I want to hold the camera too. I mean, it's, e it's very easy to make scrambled eggs on the pan. You can also make it in the microwave, which I don't do it by the microwave. I mean, I used to until I learned how to make it on the pan. Ooh, I can't feel my face right now, but I think I absolutely love it. There we go. It's almost ready. Chop it up however you want to do it. So I think I'll do an omelet next time. Ooh, that's done. So, turn off the pan, turn off the stove. Get a plate. Move that out of the way. Just put it on there. I know it looks like a little bit like an omelet, but all right. So let's go check on the toast. All right, y'all. Now it's time to butter the toast. So, take some, take the toast, take some butter, put it on, swish it around. As you may some some people notice, I like butter on my toast. I mean, if you made the buffalo chicken dip a little bit ago when I did the video, like a couple months ago, I really hope you enjoyed the buffalo chicken dip. If you made it, I hope you think it's good. I tried my best on it.
Get a little more butter if you need to. Just to butter that. This is turning out to be really perfect, honestly. I mean, by holding a camera, I'm making this, it's kind of like a little difficult, so I apologize if I was struggling a little bit. So, I need to melt the button, so I need to melt the toast, so anyway, I'll see you after I do that. Alright guys, now that the scrambled eggs are done, you can put cheese, ham, whatever you want to put on. I like cheese. Cherry cheese, shredded. So, if you want to put cheese on it, don't take like a really big handful. Take just a little handful, hold on. Trying to get a handful, but like like this. This is a little bit of a handful. Just sprinkle it on there if you'd like. If you want to have a little more, go ahead, knock yourself out. But just don't put too much cheese on it. A little more with scrambled eggs. A little sprinkle if you want. Put it on there. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Really good. So then what you want to do is you want to melt it in the microwave for a minute. So hold on, let me melt it, and I'll show you guys what the aftermath, well not aftermath, just kidding, what the results look like. Alright guys, so they're done. This is going to look a lot melted, but this is what it's going to look like. So good. So, just chop it up a little bit. You know, just like that. So easy. So just chop it up a little bit. So now I want to give a shout out to the homies and Bob Evans for making such good sausage. So three or four will work. So anyway, let me get the sausage in. Alright guys, so the sausage is under this paper towel. According to Bob Evans, you have to cover this up. So put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. So take the toast, put it over with the eggs. And then I'm gonna I'm then I'm gonna cut up the sausage and then put it on the plate and that'd be a full course breakfast. And then I'm gonna do a taste test on it. So as you may tell, I really like scrambled eggs. I mean, it's one of my favorite foods. I mean, I don't know what else to say. So the sausage only has 20 seconds left. Sorry guys for the silence, just swing for the for the sausage to get done. Ah I think I can feel my face now. Get over here, babies. Sweet, sweet sausage. Take your fork. I know it's covered in scrambled egg. Turn around your fork. Just easily Okay. Cut it up so easy. I'm trying to hold the camera while doing this. Sorry, guys. Man. So hard sometimes. Sometimes you try to hold a camera while cooking, and it's so hard. Alright. So, put it on there. That's basically a full course meal. So anyway, let's try this. Alright guys, so this is a full course meal. So without further ado, why don't we try the scrambled eggs? Cut that up. So. Mmm. Scrambled eggs are pretty good. Now let's try the sausage. Mmm. So that was good. Alright guys, so this is episode 2 of the Boston Cooks. So I'm going to eat. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe to the videos every other day. 
Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Vine, website, Wikipedia, links in the description. Along with my Snapchat, Gamertag on Xbox, and everything else. So before I end this video, if you realize there was no cursing in this video, that means I'm not going to do any cursing in this series. So DJ the Boss and Cook series are curse-free. So, because culinary teachers watch my videos, so... I remember one time I did my buffalo chicken dip. That was in the culinary classroom of the school. So my culinary arts one teacher in all the class just watched that video. All right, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Keep it real. Peace out, guys. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind.